Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. You already know what it is. It's Marcella Monique. And uh, this video doesn't really have any specific title or anything like that. I just feel like I have been slacking on my channel, um, eating some shoes. She look at my hair. Who is driving this bus? Where's that lock at? Did y'all see that lock that was messed up? Cause uh uh, that's gonna have to get cut. Where'd I go? I see it. Here it is. One second. This video doesn't have no specific title, whatever. Literally just eating and realize that I've definitely been slacking on YouTube and not creating content like on my other platforms, but like simply just YouTube. Um, and also just like venting about stuff, whatever. So honestly, y'all, like having a nine to five and creating content and like, it's not that my job is demanding, but like, I just get exhausted like I just truly get exhausted it's a lot and granted I work from home and I'm blessed that I get to work from home I'm about to start going into the office maybe like once a week um, to join this new team and of course I really do want to level up at my company but it's also like I want to chase this dream that I have and I just feel like I haven't been able to fully tap in because my job is in the way my job is in the way by the end of my shift granted like i said i work from home i can get up i can walk around i can record on my breaks but like sometimes i get into this mode and a lot of things in my job are changing like restrictions and stuff like that so it's kind of like a head down and work environment for me i also full transparency i beginning of this year i um was about to get fired from my job <laughs> and it's solely because like i wasn't performing well so i got put on basically like a work probation and i had been on that since march and it just recently got lifted like my supervisor just told me it got lifted maybe like two days ago i think it was we had like a a meeting and like granted i'm thankful i'm super thankful but it has been like a super long road like and like with me having that in place like i had to buckle down and work because like at the end of the day like yes i make money off of youtube i make money off of instagram money off of tiktok but it is honestly just not enough to cover my monthly bills like my monthly bills are probably like sixteen hundred dollars and like i just simply don't make that much yet um also a big thing is like sponsorships um like that's where most creators get their money from and granted i've had some sponsorships so a lot of mines are like we'll send you this for free and you can post it and like blah, 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 you can pick out this i'm not getting like those big companies that reach out to me and i'm like should i change my page around do i need to change around like what i stand on and this and that and like a lot of things run through my head and then comparison comes in and when i compare myself to other creators it really makes me upset because i'm nothing like these people and i don't want to be anything like them but it seems like this specific group of like luxury creators and like marble counter lifestyle and like you know like y'all know what i'm talking about that's just simply just not me and i cannot live above my means i simply just cannot so like i have to work you know what I mean? And like, I want the sponsorships to come. Like, I want them to flow in and I want everything to be abundant for me. Like, I want to be a way, I want this to be my last nine to five job. Like, I truly do. But like, I've been just getting discouraged. And I'm not going, that this does not mean that I'm quitting YouTube or anything like that. It's just like, bruh. Creating content in 2022, everybody wants to do it. You know what I mean? So bussy bus. But in 2022, everyone is creating content. And it's like, I want to create content all the time, but like, I work from home, I'm on my computer. Like, I don't have that much free time to do like super fun stuff on camera. I know a lot of y'all don't care what I'm doing. Y'all just want me to pull up and I'll be pulling up. But like, my day to day is work, head down in my computer. 
and like ideally what i would really really love to do is save up a lot of money which financially is another thing that's like difficult for me saving money has been really difficult for me because i have this thing where like if i get upset i want to buy stuff if i'm in a good mood i want to buy stuff so it's like more is leaving a lot is coming in but more is leaving and not a lot is staying you know what i'm saying and then like bills and like i got some tickets in delaware like eat like a lot of stuff so like that's another thing but what i ideally would love to do is probably save up like over 20k and be able to walk away from my job and just like completely tap in on my content but like i need it to be abundant like i have to be smart about it and like when you're chasing your dream and like you have faith in yourself like that of course you just want to hop off the porch and like just like go for it a lot of people that do that though and a lot of people that get on youtube and preach you about just like quitting and leaving your job have a hefty savings or has a nice family background and not saying anything about them at all but like let's be realistic as a 25 year old woman with no type of like support from like family or anything like that I can't just walk away from my job like I just can't it's just not realistic for me right now um so yeah like it's just been tough really and I'm I want to stay consistent stay motivated I have a lot a lot of ideas I have this journal with all of these ideas in it but it's just like I have to work y'all I have to pay the bills so I love the people that come and support me, the people who like, comment, share, and engage with me, ask me for advice, and do all types of things. So, I just feel like I need to, I have a strict schedule now, but I feel like I need to get a stricter schedule where, like, my off days, Mondays and Sundays and Mondays should be, like, strictly creating my content. Like, trying to do it in between work is really just a lot, because sometimes I have to stop what I'm doing and get back on mine. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just, like that balance between having a job and chasing any type of dream is very difficult and the thing is like if it was easy everyone would do it you know what i mean like if it was easy everyone would do it so i really give myself a pat on the back for staying as consistent that i am doing and you know just trusting my process but like bruh sometimes i'd be like i don't want to delete all of it. <laughs> that denzel meme so i'm doing my best also just want to talk about like my life in general like literally what the fuck honestly like 25 has been a great year for me but also like a confusing year and i'm not going to go too deep into it y'all but two things i want to say to y'all is make sure you take care of your health if go to health is wealth and i feel like something about like a woman's body at 25 it's like everything changes and evolves and i'm just like you what's happening another thing i want to tell y'all is if you have someone in your life i don't care who it is friend foe family ho bro sis i don't care if there's anyone in your life that makes you feel like shit you don't you don't have to deal with them you don't and you'll be perfectly fine and yeah don't put up with anything from anybody stand up for yourself demand your respect um because everybody deserves respect no matter who you are um i mean some people no <laughs> you know like people commit like crazy crimes you don't deserve respect but like for the most part like as a human being as an adult you deserve respect and go and get that and if someone is not giving you respect you don't have to deal with them simple so those are two gems i want to drop for y'all take care of your health and demand your respect and don't let anybody treat you like shit simple so yeah don't know when i'm posting this i'm pretty sure i might post my reddit stories before this i'm not really sure this is probably only going to be like 10 minutes or so just me just like you know like venting to you guys so um, I did a video reading like crazy reddit stories I hope that y'all like it because I really love reddit and I'm probably going to continue to do it but um yeah definitely let me know what y'all think and yeah also I want to do like reading some of y'all anonymous um questions I just have to figure out how to make like a google document 
for y'all to uh, fill out so that like I can read them anonymously because I've done this before and I feel like a lot of people didn't really like respond because they like didn't want me to know that it was them. Granted, I don't judge. If y'all knew some of my deepest darker secrets, you'd be like, this girl is nuts. So yeah, I might do that for y'all too. Um, travel vlogs coming soon. Um, coffee talks, we're going to keep it going. You already know the vibes. And just a lot of content. I also, um, this is like a sneak peek a little hint or whatever i want to start creating a wellness journal because y'all know i'm a big big writer i literally just wrote in my journal today i don't know where it's at but i just wrote in my journal today um so i'm thinking about coming out with like a wellness journal i'm really just trying to do like the back end process now and like see like what i'll have to do and how i can get it out for y'all because journaling is key whenever you don't want to express your feelings out loud or to anyone else or you don't feel like you have a safe place your journal is your safe place and i want to name it come back when you need me because i don't feel like for me personally i don't need to write in my journal every single day when i try to get myself to write in my journal every single day it started to be like yo i don't even have anything to say right now like i just talked to you yesterday I treat my journal as if it's another person so yeah come back to me whenever you will come back when you need me is going to be a journal where it's like yo you're not obligated to write in me every day like if you're not going through anything today or you don't have anything to tell in your journal cool don't write in me today but come back when you need me because i'm gonna be here you can reflect on things that you've been through because that's what i love to do with my journals it's gonna be affirmations in there and maybe some small writing prompts for you because i also kind of like those as well my sister gave me that idea so just a lot of things in the works coming from marsha and monique so i hope that y'all stay tuned and keep supporting me i literally literally appreciate it if i if this channel if my channel like didn't have um regardless of how many views or how many people are on my channel i'm gonna keep pushing through that's just how i am but even if it's just one person watching me i'm just glad that, that one person is tapping in so i'm just always super thankful but our time has came to an end i have to go back to work it is saturday i do work on saturdays which is another thing that's super trash um so i will see y'all when i see y'all bye